If you've been wondering how you can use ChatGPT for your Shopify store, then you're in the right place. ChatGPT is a new AI tool that everyone's been talking about. And in this video, I'll be showing you five ways you can use it to grow your Shopify business. I'm Patrick from Kodak Converts, and my goal is to help you get more traffic to your Shopify store and improve your store shopping experience so you can make more sales and grow your e-commerce business. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the awesome content I have planned to help you do just that. Today's video is all about a new AI tool that's been supercharging industries all around the world called ChatGPT. I'm not gonna lie to you, ChatGPT kind of scares me a little bit because I've seen Terminator, but let's ignore that and focus on all of the cool things it can do to help you run and grow your Shopify store. As I said, I'll be going through five ways you can use it on your Shopify store. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving you some bonus tips to help you use ChatGPT like an expert. Okay, now that we know what we're doing, let's get into it. Way number one, use ChatGPT to write product description. When it comes to making content for your product pages, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. On the one hand, you want to list out all the features and benefits your product will provide. And on the other hand, well, your customers don't really care. Wait, I'm not saying that to be mean, but let's be honest. Customers don't really care about your product. They care about how it can solve a problem in their life or make it better somehow. It's your job to communicate how your product can do that in a way that's easy to understand and has a conversational tone. Fortunately for you, you can give ChatGPT those exact instructions. Let's say you were selling some headphones for your Shopify store and you wanted to turn your boring product specs into useful benefits that the customer could actually care about. You can paste your product specs into ChatGPT and ask it to turn them into content you can use on your product page. You can even take it a step further and give it an example of your own writing and ask ChatGPT to match your writing style. Way number two, use ChatGPT to optimize your content for SEO. One of the most important things you can do to grow your Shopify business is to spend some time focusing on something called search engine optimization. Search engine optimization, or SEO for short, is all about finding keywords your potential customers are searching for and optimizing their content for those keywords. That way, when customers are searching up those keywords on Google, your Shopify store has a chance of popping up in the list of results. Now, I'm not trying to make it sound easy because it definitely isn't, but if you start focusing on SEO now, let's say in three to six months, you'll start to see some actual results and it'll drive lots of traffic to your Shopify store. And you know what that means? You get to save money on advertising. Who doesn't like saving money? You can do some research to find keywords in your niche that your customers are searching for, or you can hire someone else to do it, and then use ChatGPT to optimize different pieces of page content for it. Then try passing in a block of content from your Shopify store, and then tell ChatGPT optimize that piece of content for a specific keyword. As I've said, this works really well to help you do SEO on various pages in your store, and it works especially well if you have a blog and you write blog posts to generate traffic to your Shopify store. Make sure you proofread whatever content it spits out for you and make sure that it makes sense. Way number three, use ChatGPT to come up with ideas or content you can make for your Shopify store. This is actually one of my favorite ways you can use ChatGPT. You can use generate content ideas you can use to help start promoting your store. You can literally go into ChatGPT and say something like this. Hey ChatGPT, I'm running a Shopify store in the clothing industry and I sell affordable business clothing for busy professionals. I'm trying to create some video content for Instagram and I want to make it about style tips that my audience can use to create awesome outfits that they can take work and to networking events. Please give me a list of 10 content ideas that you think will do really well on Instagram Reels. And just like that, ChatGPT will get to generating some good starter ideas for you. And you can take it a step further and ask it to recommend some keywords to go along with these ideas so that you can continue to figure out what types of content you wanna make. Way number four, use ChatGPT to look through comparative reviews and find trends. This one is particularly useful if you're in a competitive market and you're looking for ways to stand out amongst your competitors. This one can be done in a few easy steps. All you have to do is go on your competitor's website or find the popular website in the niche of your choice and look at their product pages and look at their reviews. I want you to take all the customer reviews, you're gonna copy and paste them into a text file. Now, what you can do is you can copy one and two star review and put it in the text file paste that into ChatGPT and ask it to look for trends 
of all the things customers hated about that product. One or two star reviews implies they hated the product. So just look for trends and what they hated about it. And you can make sure you avoid that in your own product. Or you can look at four and five star reviews to see what customers loved about that product. That way you can see what your competitors are doing and you can go back and improve your own product or your Shopify store as a whole. Way number five. Use ChatGPT to write copy for a landing page. This is probably one of the most useful ways that you can use ChatGPT. This tool makes it really easy to create landing pages, even if you're not an experienced marketer. Assuming you've done some kind of research about products in the niche, and you know what your customers are looking for, you can use ChatGPT to quickly test new landing page ideas and you can see what works really well and what doesn't. All you need to do is jot down all your ideas in a text file and make sure you put all of your things like your big ideas, your product offer, benefits and features of your product, whatever it is you wanna include, put it all in one big text file, paste that into ChatGPT and then ask it something like this. Hey ChatGPT, I'm trying to create a landing page for, and then you input your niche there. Take a look at the content I pasted below and use it to come up with headlines and supporting copy I can use for a landing page. And if you wanted to, you could use that content generated by ChatGPT as a first draft and hire a marketing specialist on Fiverr to further optimize the page for you before you go live with it. Once you have all the content ready to go, use a landing page builder app to quickly set up a landing page with one of your templates or with one of their templates. Doing this will save you a lot of time and it'll help you find, write, offer, and copy that could make you tons of sales in your Shopify store. So honestly, out of the entire list I gave you, this is one I highly recommend you try out. If you made it this far into the video, kudos to you because as promised, I have tips to help you use ChatGPT like an expert. Tip number one, create an identity for ChatGPT before you start asking anything. This might sound kind of crazy, but you should give ChatGPT an identity before you start asking it for anything. Doing this can actually improve the kind of responses. For example, if you wanted to use ChatGPT to start generating landing pages for your Shopify store, you can tell it something like this before you input any of the content. You can say, hey ChatGPT, I want you to pretend as if you are a landing page specialist and I just paid you $10,000 to come up with a great landing page for my Shopify store. Then you can tell it, I want you to use this persona to respond to all the stuff I ask you from this point on. I've actually tried this myself, for my YouTube channel and for my website, and I've come up with some pretty interesting responses. So if you try this one, please leave me a comment below and let me know how well it worked out for you. Tip number two, have a conversation with ChatGPT as if it were a person. Again, this sounds kind of scary, but it works. If you ask follow-up questions based on the previous responses ChatGPT gave you, it'll actually remember the context of the conversation it's having with you that it respond to you. For example, let's say you use the idea from earlier in the video and use ChatGPT to generate a list of content ideas you can make for your Shopify store. In that list, you can tell ChatGPT, hey, I really like this idea. Can you please generate an outline for me? It'll remember which idea you're talking about and generate the outline for you just like you asked. And that's just one of the useful things you can do. There's a whole bunch of other things you can do as well. So try experimenting with this one as well and let me know how that goes for you in the comments below. Tip number three, be sure to fact check all the responses that ChatGPT gives you. At this point in the video, it's pretty clear that this tool is incredible for creating useful content for your business but you have to remember that it's not perfect. Whatever it outputs, make sure you proofread it, you fact check it to make sure that it's correct and it aligns with what you want to do with your brand. This way you give your customers, potential customers, the best experience possible with your Shopify store. Okay, those are three tips. Follow them. You can get started with using ChatGPT like an expert. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I got some more awesome content coming out for you, so I'd hate for you to miss out. Stay tuned and I will see you on the next one.